Hello and welcome to the Weebly Does What web series. Today I'm going to show you how to use the embed code on Weebly. As an example, we are going to use a Google form. Okay, let's get started. The embed code element is right here. I'm going to click it, drag and drop it, and now it's waiting for my embed code. You can get your embed code from several different websites, but just as an example, I'm going to use Google Forms. So I'm going to go to send and click right here to get my embed code. I'm going to click and then right click and copy it. I'm going to bring it back to my Weebly, click and then right click and paste. Now I'm going to click somewhere in the white so it can load and I can see how it looks. Okay. Now this would look fine, but I like my embed, especially Google Forms, a certain way. So let me show you how to edit. So I'm going to go back to the white space and click. First of all, I want it center justified. And then I want it a little bit wider. So I'm going to click here and go to width. Sometimes you have to move this little box out the way and it gets a little tricky. So I'm going to click and go to width. So for width, I'm going to put 950. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks better. I like it wider. Now, don't make it too wide to where you can't get back to the white space because you have to click on the white space to get your edit code. Now, what I want to do is I don't like this little bar. I want it long enough to where they don't have to scroll down on the form itself. They will have to scroll down on my Weebly, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is click in here and I'm going to change the height. So the height is right here. I'm going to make the height about 900 just to see how if the bar goes away. Oh, no it didn't. So I'm going to click it again and click 950. Okay, 950 didn't seem to work. So I'm going to click 1000. Okay, let's see where we are. Oh, we have a lot left. Okay, so I'm going to click it again and click 2000. Okay, we don't have a bar. We don't have that much empty space. So instead of 2000, I may go ahead and put 1950. And I'm just showing you this is how you edit it. You kind of go back and forth until it looks how you want it to look. So 1950 is even less space, and I think this is perfect. When I publish it, I'm going to show you what others will see. They'll see my embedded form. And you can see that there is no bar on the screen. And it's like a completed form. I love it. So that is how you use the embed code. Again, it's not just for Google Forms. It's for any site that has an embed code where you want to embed whatever it is into your Weebly site. So you're not putting a link to go to it, but you're embedding it in your site. And that is how you use the embed code. Thank you for watching and have a great day.